how pleased I am to have uh, Victoria Walker here um, to present. And I mentioned earlier, she is one of the people who kind of started uh, things with uh, Second Life uh, and with her work of, of working with students in this generation from the discipline system to learn counseling skills and learn diagnosis skills and using this environment to do it. Um, so it's a real pleasure to have her here. Um, we, we were in two different places at two different times and she was thinking much, uh, much far ahead of what I could have dreamed of um, and working with some really great students. And so uh, I followed her work and uh, Googled her work uh, over the years, and, and uh, great to see her here presenting with us. So thanks for being here. You're, you're in, in, a, in an opportunity to meet somebody who's really developed in here and really studied this well. Um, so uh, go ahead, take it away. Okay, well, um, I wanted to go ahead and introduce myself. Um, my name is Victoria Walker, and um, I, I truly feel very blessed to be here today. I've been invited into a, a group of uh, practitioners and researchers uh, who do something slightly different than what I do, and yet I've been invited in with, with open arms. I work in the uh, School of Psychology and Counseling at Regent University, which is uh, in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I am uh, the director of uh, web and instructional technologies here. Uh, my PhD is in education. My background is education, instructional design, uh, educational technologies. And I came to uh, work at this university a little over seven years ago. And at that time, I uh, met some wonderful professors who were on the verge of learning how to teach well online. And they were struggling with a lot of the things that I think many counselor educators today are struggling with. with how do you teach uh, certain concepts to students in an online environment? And what about a traditional environment where you may have wanted to get certain concepts across and it has not been able to uh, be completed as well as you'd like in those uh, types of formats either? Uh, about seven years ago, I, I met a professor who, who told me, I really would like to have my students truly understand the concept of, of counseling skills in my online courses. Uh, this was the first KCREP accredited online uh, counselor education and supervision program. And uh, this professor was really struggling with finding ways to do that. Uh, video conferencing uh, really was not uh, very much available at that time. There were a few programs, Click to Meet uh, was new on the scene and a few others that were, were possible abilities, but there wasn't much out there. So finding ways to do this uh, was definitely a task that I, I set out to do. Uh, Second Life was uh, something that I became interested in a little over four years ago when it was introduced to me as uh, something that was new on the scene for uh, people who are interested in, in doing things in virtual environments. I'm not a gamer. I never have been a gamer. Uh, I, I don't do uh, too much with uh, animation. Uh, so a lot of these things are, are uh, foreign to me coming into them. But I'm really interested in uh, student learning, improving their learning, improving their enjoyment of learning, and helping instructors and professors learning how to teach students well. Uh, those students will leave with the feeling that they actually learned and they understand the concepts that they, they are being taught in class. Uh, that's where uh, Second Life comes into the picture. Um, Michael Rowe, uh, head of IBM's uh, digital convergence team, says the unique thing about Second Life is that it's immersive. Uh, and this is so true, that, that feeling of really being immersed in an environment and actually being there, that, that feeling of presence is there. And I think that's the key, is, is students, when, they, when they're immersed in an environment where they feel like they're actually there, it becomes real to them, and it's engaging to them, and they enjoy the learning more. So therefore, uh, Second Life does give us a huge opportunity and, and a wide landscape to think about all the possibilities. If you can think about it, you can probably build it in this environment. Uh, benefits for education are, are fairly obvious. I mean, there's social interaction. Uh, you can talk to people from all around the world. Uh, the university I work at right now, we're looking at a way to be able to connect with different cultures from uh, 
Latin America and Europe and other places where we're trying to find ways we can do that in a virtual environment. A collaboration is something you can do. And for, for counseling, role playing and simulation is definitely a great idea. Uh, the learning tends to be student-centered when you come into this environment, which the students really like. They connect with that. They like the fact that it's really about them and how much they're gaining from the activity. Now, virtual environments um, can offer a lot for a counseling program that's looking for a place where students can meet and they can practice certain educational activities that may be difficult to practice in a face-to-face -face environment or in other types of virtual environments. Uh, Blackboard and WebCT, these used to be considered virtual environments, but most people when they think of virtual environments today, they think of the 3D virtual environments like Second Life or Active Worlds. However, it goes back to that same question we've been asking. It looks like Zena crashed, and here she comes back. I was going to go up on stage and do my river dance. <laughs> 